Welcome back everybody, I am C-Money, I'm an experienced Risk Global Nomination player, and today we are playing Fixed Capitals once again on the Europe Advanced map. I don't know why I needed to pause so long there. And we are, as stated in yesterday's video, 240, or 58 points I believe, away from Grandmaster. Hopefully... This can be the game where we snag that title. Waiting on the purple player to decide where they want their capital to be. We see a little bit of their territory. We kind of got a little mixed bag of everybody's stuff. I think we're going to end up seeing the blue player cap here on Bavaria with the five there. That seems like a pretty obvious choice for blue. Um, purple's going to cap right there. That's going to be right next to a bonus that I was going to want to cap on and take. Now i got a fly flying around next to me, unfortunately. Uh, Italy doesn't look like a very good place to play. We've got a lot of material over here. I think France is a decent hold. So um, it's possible. I'm, I'm going to try to good neighbor next to um, next to purple with the Paris cap. It's not the best. Ca oh my god, you got to be kidding me. Hmm. We're going to get that material rolled. Why? That is a terrible cap for, for yellow. I understand the thought process of that because you think you've got France, but you see my material here, at least one of it. He's going to be startled by both of them, probably. Hopefully he gets too greedy on that. This means we've got to consider some relocation here. Blue does not pick the Bavaria cap, which is interesting. Um, the noob corner is a potential play. We don't know where pink is, but... I mean, we can't cap right next to yellow, right? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. That would be way too provocative. Um, we've essentially got a two-point hold play for the Orient, which is exactly where we capped last game. I don't like any of my positions here. I'm certain somebody's playing for Noob Corner because it's an easy hold. Oslo or Denmark even. Probably a Denmark cap that exists. So because of that... I am going to play for the Orient. We don't have like any material over there. There's the possibility, if yellow gets too greedy here, to roll that cap. Which is... Sometimes, man, the stories write themselves. Yellow now is going to get two caps here. Uh, purple, probably the instant bot out. Yep, yeah, they're gone. Um, pink plays after yellow. Blue, I wonder who's got Elps, because El the Elps player might go for that. If Blue knew that Marseille was here in this week, he'd go, for, he, uh, he'd go for it and grab that super early. I've obviously got the material here. It's possible yellow doesn't know that this is the cap here, but then pink just takes it, right? So there's probably not a great play here, but maybe yellow early bots out. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, comes down. If he splits material between both these caps, though, which is exactly what he just did, now do we see... Do we see pink try to hit yellow here on this cap? No. We're going to get a lot. We can roll this yellow cap here, right? So I wanted this position. This is actually the cap that I wanted. I didn't want it in Paris. I wanted it here. Um, so if we can hold... I'm going to get, what, eight? I think I'm going to get eight here. That's That should be a pretty 100% roll, I think, on this cap. And then we don't actually unlock his other cap. We don't take this bonus yet. We just let our bonus be like a plus two from having two caps the first turn. Red. I didn't even realize the play redhead for Russia here. Not a great roll. Not a, also a very bad roll. So I think yellow got too greedy. I'm going to take this cap. And we're not going to unlock the other one yet. There's no, no incentive for that. We are just going to nab this because... It's 95%. Five. Uh, yeah, I'll just pull this in and 
that should be uh, that should be pretty simple. Oh, yellow bought it. I didn't even notice. Maybe he just bought it. So yellow and purple both bought it. We'll run through the players now. Why not? Well, who do we got in the game? Uh, this is a, this is a very good position to have. Uh, although pink runs after, so blue's got a plus six. That makes me think. Oh no, blue's just got territories then, right? So, so we take France next turn. We get yellow out of the pocket here, fully, regardless of if pink takes this cap, right? Interesting. Blue's playing a position down here. So blue had this bonus down here. I'm not married to this cap over here, right? I'm not married to this cap by any means. But I think having strength on that side of the map would be beneficial. I What I really want is I want to effectively two-point hold all of this over here. So the yellow bot places up here. It's possible it doesn't even attack off this cap on the next turn. Um, no, it does. All right. Pink is going to take this then if he's got any sense. But we'll see how much he puts over here, right? Because he's gonna have to he's getting twelve a turn. Alright, yeah, he definitely takes that. On the off chance he doesn't, I'm scooping that crap up. Come on, don't pay attention to what you got there. Which is great positioning. Oh, wait, that's winnable. Lose a lot, lose a lot. Yes, 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 yes. It comes up into here first. I mean, you're only going to have... You only got two on that cat, man. You can't hold that. The question is, does red know that this is here? I mean, I'm going to clear this pocket out. I got to clear it out of pink. We're going to get seven. We'll just leave... If pink wants my cap over here, all you, brother. This is such a stronger position for me to hold. It'll be a double plus four bonus. Pink get, was getting 12 a turn. I don't know if blue's going to allow that. Is pink the guy up in here? Might be. Um, all right. So we cleared that pocket of pink. These caps are a little weak, so we got to be careful of blue scooping up in here or, or red getting a little overly aggressive. But um, if I can hold them a as we stand right now, I should be able to take some some pretty hefty ground here on an upcoming turn. Blue's getting 10 a turn. That's a little dangerous. He's probably going to try to keep uh, to clear this out. Again, not married to this cap over here, so if pink wants to try to take that, by all means, go ahead. Blue doesn't know this cap is here. From what I can tell. He comes down from Italy. That is interesting. It's going to hit me here. We should be getting quite a bit more on the next turn. I'm not married to that cap as we, we said previously. But I don't want to let Blue have all of this. And I think he's pretty close. He's on plus 10. We'll see what pink's on here in a second. If pink's still got the plus 12, take me out of Ankara. 11 now. Take me out here. I, I, I would love you to, to do that. He's not going to do that. Yeah, so I think pink is up here in this pocket then. Uh, which is pretty strong position. It's going to be a very strong position. I'm a little worried about that. Little, little worried about that. Red with 13 now. Does he come in here? Hopefully not. I'm, I'm walking on eggshells right now, everybody. Hopefully red continues taking material out of here. I've still got this cap down here. We, ha we have three caps. Again, not, not married to this one, but it'll help right now for the extra troops that we, we will get here. Red attacks pink there. It's attacking elsewhere right now. I'd love to know where those attacks are happening. 
won't be able to remove my my block here yet. I'm not super concerned with red at the moment. We are going to flush him out of this spot. 14. Um, I'm going to put one here. We're going to put the rest here. Blue's got a cap there. Oh, that's so bad. Let me just sauce him the fist bump. Oh, why is the cap there, man? Oh, it would have been so much better in any other spot. We've got to trade. If he tries, to, if he hits it, and he doesn't, for some reason, doesn't have all of this, which I know he, he does. I know he's got all of it. I don't even, yeah. I don't even know why I have that level of optimism for myself. Don't put it all there, please. He puts one there. Oh, wait a minute. Our trade-in, if he doesn't hit that and doesn't fortify back to cap, we could potentially force a bot out here if that's all he's got there. Because I'm going to be getting 14 plus, uh, plus my trade-in on three. Don't bring back to cap. Do not bring back to cap. Only brings four back to cap. We can wipe that. 14 plus 12. It's going to be more than 14, right? Didn't we just get 14? And that was before I took the bonus. Oh, he's screwed. This blue player is actually screwed. Oh my god, it just attacked an 8 on 7. This game is crazy, man. What is going on? We just got to make sure we keep this nice and strong. We actually don't even need to fortify this cap anymore with both the caps on opposite sides fortified. Um, and then it'll just be about getting rid of Red's cap, which we knew was back here in Russia, and then getting rid of Pink's cap. And having a whole lot of mess that the two of them need to deal with in between. Pink will be quite strong, though. So, um, need to make sure I hold this down tightly. I'm hoping that Red... Continues trying to take this up here. Drop your... Drop some troops here. This game is moving quickly. I'm not crazy about it. I would be totally fine with Pink taking this cap. I haven't been defending it for that reason. Uh, because that really keeps the fight... It keeps bots mostly near me other than this blue five. And then it keeps... Uh, keeps Pink and Red closer to each other than to me. But, that, I mean... Denmark, whoever had an opportunity for Denmark, that's easily the best cap on the board. Red breaks through pink down here. I, You can have it, dude. I, I, I got five on it. I'm not even trying to defend it. Go for it. It is all you. You can have that to your liking. I'm going to roll blue's cap. We got a nice 24 bomb in this bad boy. Um, he doesn't have Italy, so let's just go off like this. Let's keep this as like 14 just in case. Bring this back to this cap. 14's on both. Shouldn't be able to roll that. And blue's a bot. Sick! Sick, sick, sick. So we'll lose this cap to red. But we should be strong enough to outpace pink and red here moving forward. We were getting 18 a turn, I believe. Yeah. So we just we keep these nice and strong. I'll try to take this bonus down here, but I don't think it's going to be that fruitful for me. The yellow bot, I think, is quite weak. The blue bot uh, might stack up on me here. Only a four trade. Yeah, he wasn't going to be able to retake anything there. That's fine. If that acts as a barrier. Position I like my positioning though. I, I re redistributed myself here. So blue took that because I think this is actually a bonus for blue now, which obviously we do not want uh, a bot with that strong of a bonus bordering me. Yellow bot goes that here's here's my biggest concern at this point in the game. I'm not terribly worried about red. Red could get strong. I need to make these two caps as strong as possible to always hold down these bonuses here. But my biggest concern is the pink player, whose material, as far as I can tell, only exists up here in the upper left corner. 
But he's going to be getting, yeah, 14 a turn. That's pretty good. It's actually less than I thought it would be. These bonuses really don't carry much of an impact, do they? Uh, doesn't have a trade. So we, we have one turn here. Yeah, there it is. We see that. He's going to take this. We're not going to allow that, right? I'm not going to let him hold that. It's possible the bots don't even let him hold that. Um... You know, maybe I let him hold it for one turn. A little false sense of security. We're going to lose this cap to red, right? So we got to come through and come across and uh, and make sure we have a constant break stream over here. Yeah, the rest is going to go here. That's not surprising. It's pretty obvious I was allowing that cap to fall. Loses nine on it, too. That's not great. Um... We'll fortify this four off pretty soon. I, I want to take this bonus, and I want to just... Um, let's get this up to 17, just for extra added protection. This here. Uh, what's the right pathing here? We're going to let myself be a little weak just for a turn. I'm not going to even break red. We'll let red be a little strong for just a turn. This way we've got this bonus. we got a little buffer with blue. I think that might have just broken pink. Maybe we get lucky with a blue rolling a 12 on 12? I, I doubt it. If we hold this, we should be able to completely flush right out. Okay. The blue bot has killed the yellow bot. That's something. Good to know. Blue breaks in here. And then fortifies up. Okay. Pink's getting 20 a turn. So pink did hold this. Okay. Okay, okay. 10. That's dangerous. That could potentially take this cap. I hope not. Maybe I got a little greedy. Didn't defend it properly. Fingers crossed. Uh, nope. Won't take our cap. Delightful. That is not enough. I will leave that there. Oh, even saw some a little bit of a fist bump. 23 a turn on red. Maybe, maybe we can have a mutual agreement amongst all of us to remove the uh, bots. So yeah, Red has this. We'll see how well he's holding that border. We probably got a turn of clearance here. Question is, does he come down here and try to wipe me? I, that's what I would do. I, I would rush through blue, come break this bonus. Wouldn't If I knew the cap was here, which I don't know if he, no, he knows this cap is here. He's on Andalusia earlier. Yeah, this is dangerous because this is not... I didn't see anything placed up here to take this stuff out. Interesting. All right. So... 28 a turn for me. Let's go 25 here. We're going to go 25 here. 7. Uh, we don't view any of red yet. We probably get broken here by red. I Maybe I should have gone into red, but I felt it was more important to have my cap strong. I can always retaliate. If he comes in and hits Sahara, I can always retaliate, right? But what I can't do is I can't fortify a lost cap. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's frustrating. Got another trade. Oh, maybe it just attacked him. It's possible it just attacked him. So my cap was on Ankara, right? He's probably got that nice and strong. Pink's still getting 20 a turn. Could have a trade in, but likely won't be able to break this. Maybe comes back door on me. Surprised the purple bot is still alive. It was not very strong. Okay, how much turn? Just three. It did trade in, though. 29. Does this come down into me? 
I would just go break red if I were him. Maybe that's what I do on the next turn. Just cripple red. Or break. Uh, well, no. So he left three behind, which makes me think he's holding he uh, heavy borders here. 17 a turn on red now. Red was getting, on the previous turn, 23. So that did lose the plus six down here. That's going to hit me here. I think we just got to mess up red. So uh, I'll go through the players we had in the game. Obviously, the yellow player is dead. We've got the other two just as bots here. Where are these attacks? These attacks got to be happening down here. Maybe, I mean, maybe just taking a Sambol back. At this point, I don't unlock the cap. I come in here and I wipe as much of this out as I can. 29 a turn. Uh, Sahara El Bayad, Tunisia. Uh, I guess we go Sahara. 39. Now nah, we go up into here. Yeah. Still didn't get rid of bot. So uh, try to take this cap and just get him out of here. Effectively fight a 1v1 against uh, against pink. But we did not get that. So he likely has a trade. He can probably recover from that. But I'd rather keep red weak because I don't think pink's going to have the bandwidth to get through me. Blue doesn't break red down here though. Pink's on 21 now. But even with 21 on a trade, I don't think that breaks the cap here. It does hit whatever he's hitting. Maybe he's killing purple. Two cars would set him. Nope. Uh, I think my next turn... I don't think I can kill blue. It's going to hold that on me. Why are you doing that? Red trades... 26 up here. That's going to completely remove me from here. So we go back door on him here. Why is pink holding that here? That seems like a really newbie play. We're getting 28 a turn still. Alright, we go back door on him here. 18. And then we put the rest up here because he won't be able to take that. Yeah, we get the break, and then we put this back uh, weak side. So now he'll have this up here. He won't have this down here. He comes in and breaks me. I go in and I swoop him out of here. <clears throat> the problem is I'm fighting. I'm fighting battles on two fronts, right? I'm not really fighting Pink, but Pink's being a nuisance. Maybe this will come in and break red. I doubt it. It's holding 16 down here. We're definitely weakening the player. Go right. Go right. Nice. The issue is we're not going to see how far red goes after this off of his play. So 21 a turn here. I would just kill kill, kill purple at least. Because is he going to just keep stacking up on my border? No, it doesn't look like he's going to. Pink, the pink player is a little concerning here. He did not attack very heavily there, though. Why do you keep doing that, man? Not worried about anybody else's threats, apparently. Uh, red does not retake down here, which means something's coming down this way, I think. Up 24. He's getting how much on this last turn? Is he dumb enough to open up Sahara? He's not. He is, okay. This is a very strange play. I don't like... I, I just, I very strongly do not like what the... Uh... You don't leave that there. No shot, right? I don't like what the pink player is doing here.
I'm losing too much on this, man. How is he so strong? They're not hitting each other at all. How is this guy so strong? All of his material is up here. That's going to roll me on the next turn. He had a 46 and a 37 back-to-back. -back. Red will not hit this player. I, I've thrown the game here. That's actually huge. That that level of protection even, that's big. Well, it's not protection anymore. All right, pink's going to roll my cap. Uh, I messed up. I messed up, everybody. The red player only sending it into me, man. Gosh, that's frustrating. He came off of this cap too, didn't he? I shouldn't have hit that. I should have just kept it. I got greedy. I should have hit him earlier when I had the chance. This comes right in here. It breaks me. No, it doesn't come in. All right, he's, he's building that up, though. There's definitely a fortification behind that wall. Red's on 10 a turn now. Wait, Red's on 10 a turn now. Red lost his... No, Red didn't lose his cap. What does that equate to? What bonus does he have? I'm so confused, man. Six on one hit me there. All right, we got a chance to fortify this at least. Pink's pink's the the, the problem here. Um, all right, we we pop six here. Get blue out of the way. Twenty here, and then forty-two. We sit tight. We we play this slow. <clears throat> we play this slow because. Maybe, you know what, if we can get purple to build up in front of me, that's that's an extra buffer. But we got to play this slower than we were playing before. I'll leave, I'll leave red alone now. Blue's on three, no bonuses for blue, which we knew. So I messed up, I didn't get punished. Pink could have punished me so hard, man. Maybe he forgot how much I had on this. I mean, he had vision on it before. 21 again. We've got a trade. Castile and Leon, Tunisia. We had a turn to be able to fortify this better, though. That's the one benefit. Comes in with an 87. That's not a guaranteed take. Maybe you go fight someone else, dude. Yeah. He's not going to pull everything off, though. We know this guy's MO. He's not going to pull everything off. This, I believe, is all of his material here. I don't know if he, this is like an attempted card block or something. I, I've clearly got takes elsewhere, dude. Um, albeit one, but takes elsewhere nonetheless. What I don't understand... So Red's back on 23 a turn, right? Hit pink. I'll work with you to hit pink. But if he comes in on me again... That's going to be frustrating. Yeah, he fortifies here. I'll throw him the fisties. Uh, where is that? That's back in that pocket. Man, it doesn't really matter. We'll take it because it's the only dude we've got. This cap, I'm just going to... We're going to do 75 here. I'm going to I'm going to play the slow game. I, if if I play the slow game, I'm fortifying two different spots with stinks. Reds also fortifying two different spots. Pink only has one cap. He's only got one thing to worry about. But if he keeps putting up on my border, he potentially gets slammed in the back by red. Here's the purple bot. Uh, the purple bot, I think, is still pretty weak. 
I don't think it's up against anybody's cap, so it might be worth just getting the bots out of the way to force the players to fight each other. I might consider that on my next turn. Red's got a trade here. I mean, we weakened pink, but it took us a little bit longer to recover because the turn we weakened pink was the turn we got attacked by red. Like, why are you, why are you doing this, man? I don't understand. I would love, I, I, in the comments, if you're watching this, give me some incentive on why the pink player is playing the game like this, because I, or not some incentive, some, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is right now, man. Um, there's a specific word, it starts with I. Can't come up with it, but um, give me your thoughts. Why is the pink player fortifying so heavily on my border and not uh, not on the bots, not on red at all? I would love to know. So I'm going to go... Um, we're going to go purple bot hunting here. Maybe a little bit. Play two cards. Yeah, look at how look at how heavily fortified this is. Oh, there's a bot down. Another player lost the game. The players in the game. I never went through them. I just realized that. Bailey Cerveza, United States. Purple player, first position. Blue player, Miller Time. United States, second position. Yellow player, Harley Traore. Greece, third position. Pink player, Elcott the Hammer 34. United States, fourth position. The red player, DSK, Peru. Fifth position in IMC Money. Currently barely ranked as a master in the sixth position. This is where we find out effectively if these two are teaming with each other. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that seems... I don't know how these two would know each other, but that seems a little suspicious, man. That seems a little suspicious. Red getting 18. Did he just... Did something break red and I didn't notice? Am I blind? I think red might have gotten broken. Nah, he didn't get broken, broken in Russia, I don't think. He must have gotten broken by blue down here. Oh, we can come off of Tunisia with this. That's nice. Let's get this cap up to 100. We're just going to have to play this nice and slow. Um, unfortunately, now we got to worry about pink on both sides, which I'm not crazy about, but maybe we can get red to finally hit pink. I, I've kind of given up on attacking the red player. The one issue here with pink strategy, right, is we've seen how much they have here. They are not holding anything on their cap. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. Not a lot at all. Um, so pink's getting a little bit more this turn, but we're still getting 20. This is the benefit. It's because pink didn't come in here and hit all of these territories. He just came in and hit the one. Um, we're still getting, what, 21 a turn on that last turn? So he can outpace me by one troop, I guess. But I'm just going to make these capitals Fort Knox here. And he's going to come down in here and hit me again. I, I Red, I need some help, dude. I don't know why he's not... He's not giving a care about Red. I really don't understand it. And now he breaks Tunisia, right? He doesn't... He's see, Okay, nope. Opens up the cap again. Make it make sense. Is he going to fortify in this time? That would be something. Nope, fortifies out again. 
And Red's getting 24 a turn still. So so he's wasting all of this energy, taking all of these territories. Um, instead of doing the logical thing, which is realizing that Red will become a greater threat than me here at some point. And I'm hoping that Red realizes that. Red keeps seeing Pink come down and hit me, right? So the Red player is playing smart. Not drawing the ire of the, per the pink player, which I, again, I ha had this here, this cap, earlier. I do not know why this player is so set on on hitting me so much. So, we're going to come off the cap here. You know what? I'm just going to go back. I'm not even going to hit red. There's no incentive for me to hit red because pink keeps hitting me. This way, we got blue out of here. Blue will continue focusing on pink up here. But this game is by no means won. It's by no means lost. We're in this awkward phase of, of being on the wrong side of a uh, 1v1v1. Now pink's getting 23 a turn. So pink is matching red. But maybe pink starts realizing that red is just as large of a threat as I am. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case, though. It's going to come right down here. Maybe you go to the right. You see what's up with red on the right? No. No. Continues hitting me. Dude, make it make sense, man. And he, and he only comes in. He looks at the cap, and then he leaves. And meanwhile, re oh, what are you, why do you fortify there, man? What is going on? I am being hard to target. Don't place down here, please. All right, for protection, that's fine. Okay. Oh, you know what? Wonder if Red kept that here. Wonder if Red kept that on Benghazi. Cause that would be interesting. Let's get this up to 70. Put this here. I want I'm trying to show him I want him to take Benghazi. I want you to take Benghazi. Please. Cause because if he can do that, then I can work with this player to snuff out the, the, the pink player. The problem is the pink player is such a nuisance in this game right now. And he's only hitting me, right? He's only coming for me. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Not trying to get rid of the blue bot, not trying to remove either of Red's bonuses. And Red's getting very strong off this. Red's got to feel great about how this game is going. I know I would if I had a guy investing all of his troops in in holding at the border of another player. He could he could plenty he could be plenty fine here holding on this border. Oh my god, dude! Why? Why are you doing this? Oh, I'm going to be here for like another hour now with the way that this game is going. The pink player could have helped me help him by just dealing with red when I went into red earlier. Props to the red player for not botting out as well. I, I thought I had a, a cap roll up there, which obviously did not. Um, we got 28 now at least. And we got a trade. Gascony. Is that... Marseille. We got Benghazi. Is it Benghazi? Yeah, I want Benghazi. Um, I guess I'll get Beng. Eh, no, I want it now. I don't really care about uh, about the Gascony one. Put this up to one thirty. This up to seventy five, I guess. And this. Given blue some places to attack. Wow. 
Yeah, red, uh, red looks great. Red's positioning looks great for the longevity of this game for them. I think a 1v1, uh, I'm favored just because of cap locations. Like, if, if he came in here and broke this up, I'd be able to go in and, and hit Mecha Medina and break this. But, well, I mean, we still got the nuisance that is pink. And pink's not going to rest until he's got me dead, which is so unbelievably difficult for me to understand. See, so he's going to... He might even kill blue here. We might finally see the blue bot die, which what I don't understand is, is why doesn't red come in here? Oh, my God, dude. Not this tired baloney again. Why? Are you targeting me? I can afford to come off this cap this turn. If he's got... That all comes right here. Yeah, he's not going to have enough to take there next turn, though. I just... I don't understand. You see how strong Red's getting. I mean, this feels like... I don't know. What, what does it say? Out of curiosity, what does it say that the harassment report is... It doesn't say anything specific about it. Okay. I thought it might have like a, a definition surrounding that. It doesn't appear to. Like in hindsight, I probably could have protected this cap, but I think I still think this positioning is the best positioning on the map. I mean, you guys see how much I'm getting getting per turn here. Just for fun, we'll leave like four on it. Let this be a lesson, everybody. Defend your caps. Because now, this 120... Yeah, he's on five. <laughs> That's kind of fun, isn't it? Maybe you'll pull your 120 off and defend your stinking cap. Like, this is what bots do, by the way. And this is not me calling this player a bot. By no means am I saying that. But the, what the bots do is they hold... Oh my god, he just locked... He's just letting me have this camp. I mean, you, you don't take this, man. What? It, it's Capital Conquest. I mean, if this fortifies off, I'm just going to take this back. Oh my god. Oh, he just killed himself. That's nice. Like I said, I think I can win the 1v1 against red. I think. I'm hoping that red doesn't realize what pink just did. Do I have a trade? I have a trade. Alright, I can kill pink here. Which is good, I guess. But I'm my caps are so weak now because of that very frustrating play. I like I don't know what he thought was gonna happen. I don't know what pink thought was gonna happen here. So he traded, right? But he, he took a while to draft there. How aggressive is he gonna get here? Because he probably just wins the game. Maybe he's killing blue. That'd be nice. I'm killing pink this turn regardless. I think he bought. He didn't even bot. He just sacked. So. Oh, red might not have gotten a fortify off there. Um, yeah, obviously killing pink. Let's make sure I can do this up here. Eight. Eight should be enough. Fourteen. Fifteen. Let's get 16 and then um, I don't want to come off that camp.
Interesting that red's holding like this. Oh. Got it at the last second. Okay. The red can probably come in here and take this. Or come off this. He's holding a lot off cap, though. That's the benefit here, right? 34. Pink is gone. Good riddance. 53 up here. All right, yeah. He's going to come take all of this up here. Or, if too much of this moves here, we go in and break this over here. I mean, this is what was holding that defense over there, right? Going to hit Italy. Yeah. He doesn't know how much I had up there, though. Is he taking all of this? Not going to open the caps, right? Breaks here. And he's going to take that. Ooh, he lost a lot on that, though. That's a retake and a half, if I've ever seen one. Not every position he's got. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't fortify back to that cap. And now we've got a path off of this to mess him up, right? So trade in. It's just horses. He opened up the cap. Opened up the cap. I think we we retake here and fortify. We're not going to have the grounds to break this. Mm, well, actually, we kind of do. But I think it's more important to go up here. How weak is this cap? 42, not that weak. Didn't come off Orient over here. That'll break me. It broke Russia though. Uh, it, it, interesting back and forth happening right now with the blue bot kind of in the way. 22, still quite a bit. What do we get even with all of his breaks? 28. All right. That doesn't that doesn't hit here. This is fine, man. If we can hold these down, these three spots, I think I can still beat him. It's off cap for that. That's fine. I mean, we really just got to get to a point where we're holding these bonuses and these bonuses and just have them not be strong enough. He's going to try to come up into here. I mean, he'll break here on Stockholm, but he won't be able to take this cap this time. Yeah, he's going to go to the right. I mean, take as much territory as you can, right? That's kind of the mindset. He's going to try to slow roll me. Otherwise, I'm just going to dump on this and go and break again. I'm getting more this turn. 32. Alright, we come we come underneath then. Uh or do we just slap here? Yeah, I think we probably just slap here. We don't open up that cap. Just keep him weak. That's 75 still lurking over here. That's the one problem. Next turn I work on this. That's actually a nice little buffer. I mean, we knew that was going to get broken anyway, right? So I was getting, what, 28? I'm, I'm outpacing him right now and I keep breaking. Or I got 32 on that last turn even with all the breaks he did. Yeah, and he's still on 22. 75 comes off eventually. That's what's, that's what's got me worried. There was 75 here on Istanbul that I remember from earlier. We've seen all of his investments. This is going to be 32 this turn. Yeah, that's what's coming now. He's coming off of here. 
through blue, probably. He's not dice rolling right now. Now he is again. Where do we see it? Yeah, there it is. 80. It's coming for this cap, isn't it? It hasn't opened that yet, though. This is quite the investment to come up here and take, try to take this cap. I think he thought this was going to be weaker than it is. Oh, that's a such a bad roll. Fortifies, but... That's a terrible roll. Pulls off a cap for it, though. So he's, he's up in there. He's up in there for sure. That'll be t a little tough to deal with, but he can't attack off that, right? So he's left to his own devices in that, and now we can break both of these bonuses down here. I don't think he took blue out of here completely either. This cap, these are both 30s, that's fine. Um, just get like a, a 6, that should work. Oof, that stinks. And now blue, I mean, he, he was stacked. This 75 was what came out, right? So this actually might come in here and open up this cap, which we don't know how strong that is, but... Ah, oh, it comes and breaks me tough. That comes down. Okay. We're, we're working him pretty good right now. He's down to zero bonuses, so he's just got three caps. And, obviously, all of the territories. Now, if he clears me out of this pocket back here, that'll help him. He's going to break me down here. So, which kind of stinks that I wasn't able to clear that out. But again, he doesn't have this over here, so... He's going to retake this up here. I don't like that. Going to try to hit this. Yeah, he's not going to have adequate defense in here, though. Coming back here to break these. Still losing troops. That's going to be important bonuses for him to hold here. Getting that calf was pretty uh, integral to the success of his game here. It's a pretty good spot to have. We got to try to take this cap over here, but not before we snuff out whatever bonuses we can still grab. Go 11 here. Let's get this here. We're going to try. So yeah, he's got that up there now, but I tried to reduce the number of territories he has. That was my goal. The blue bot's not, it's only hitting me, so I think taking a turn to try to remove that while also still dealing with him might be uh, helpful. This cap is still locked. That cap's still locked, this cap is still locked. We want to keep the caps locked. And that's where our benefit comes, right? So we'll see how much he gets here and then compare it to how much we get on the next turn. 18 right now. And we should still have some legs. See, this isn't... I don't even think this necessarily reaches me. He should try to take Scandinavia if he can. We got a dude trade, which isn't very good. 23 on this cap. We saw 40-something on that one earlier. It's a long game, man. It's a long game. Yeah, he, he, like I said, not going to be able to get to me over here. That was that was look too weak there. It did actually fail the attack on this three. And he's not going to have the, the legs here either. So, the blue bot is quite 36. Wow, okay. Um, I'm going to swoop through here. 
I'm going to take the dude trade. Just to have the extra troops. We're going to go 15 down here. Let's go 12. And then I'm going to start working on this over here. bots on three trades in I'd love it to go to the right here I don't think this cap is that strong given how much he had held in front of it but we're slowly getting more per turn and we're also gonna get ideally get the blue bot out of here soon and then once that happens I mean the domino should really start to fall here in favor of me maybe even potentially troops getting pulled off caps but that should be killable on the next turn. 16 now. And we got 30. I mean, he's going to make it to my bonus. We got 36 on the previous turn. The 10 is going to come up here. No, everything's down here. If he opens my cap, he's screwed. Oh, he's just coming for bonus breaking. This is interesting. I don't like this play at all. It hits Tunisia, right? Not to open the cap. We expected that. The problem is he left territory over here, right? So he's only breaking, he's not taking. I mean, he took this, but how much does that actually do for him? Doesn't remove me up here. We don't want to open the cap, so we keep hitting Kharkiv. I mean, he's taking extra ground. I, I respect that. I was getting, what, 18? 26 still, so... I mean, good effort. I managed to retake that. Um, I'm going to pull a little bit off the cap here. Might be a little trade, but... So I, I still got 26. He was on 18. Right? 18? 16. He's on 16. There's extra stuff he's going to have to hit through to come break me. So this might give us the opportunity to kill the blue bot on this next turn. Which is something I would like to do so that it's not hitting me. Because that's all that's really happening is it keeps hitting me. And this gives me... It would give me an extra front to be able to hit this player on. He's finally going to take this pocket back here. Which is smart. I, I mean, he's been robbing himself of three extra stuff uh, per turn. This is going to be funny when this inevitably does not work and I get more off of this next turn. Yep. There it is. I mean, clears the pocket up here for three extra troops per turn. But uh, doesn't retake this bonus here. So uh, it's looking maybe a little too, too little too late. For this player. 33. Um, I'm going to kill blue. Or we're going to put like 18 here. And then we're going to kill blue. I want the blue bot going. This will set us as well. Sets us. Madrid, Romania, I think Romania probably, just for the extra territories. And then 
the seven, I want to plop right here. It's getting 20 now. 20 is not bad. I'm going to put it up here. It's just a lot of territories he's got to deal with. Does he hit the three? He does. Loses one. Comes over for this bonus. If he comes down, there's no guarantee that he's able to break me over here. He does not come down. Or I mean, he's going to, but I mean, he's going to be rolling at like a seven on eight here. <clears throat> and does not win it. All right. So we should get quite a bit here on this next turn. And, and the more I get per turn, the more I can block off his pathways for attack. 38. So just in case, strengthen that. Um, I'm going to hold from this spot on this next turn. Just for it's going to have a trade here, and as such, probably gonna get hit pretty hard with whatever he's got. This is gonna come back door. Oh, he bought it out. He bought it out! He bought it out! Yes! Oh! So for those of you who don't know, who maybe didn't see the title of this video or haven't been paying attention, this is the Grandmaster game. The game that gets me to Grandmaster. And the player bought it out. All right, we're gonna be we're still gonna be careful here because a bot out doesn't always mean the game is over. Uh, let's pull this one off cap. To attract that one to come off cap. But the bot out is huge. We had. This was a wild game, man. We had people sacking into caps early on in the positions that I wanted. We had the pink player just completely ignoring red for the entirety of the game and, and coming up and, and hitting me uh, hitting me silly there. With red botted out, I think um, it is only fitting if I try to world dumb this game. I know it'll take some, couple, uh, some extra minutes, but... I think that that would be the most fitting way to try to win this game is to try for the World Dom victory. And the reasoning behind that is because it is the game where I will reach Grandmaster. Assuming this player doesn't come back and doesn't have any, uh, any reason to figure out how to win if he does, which I, I don't expect him to come back. Um... We are going to give it our best effort to World Dom. It should only take a couple extra turns. This red bot will keep attacking over here. It's getting like 21 a turn right now, but we've cleared out this area. Places most of it there. It'll start <clears throat> moving towards me, and then we'll just wither it away on each turn. But uh, the last cap up here on the Russia territory. If you caught la yesterday's video, you probably saw me... Uh, have a shot at the win for Grandmaster and then let it slip from my fingers. Uh, tried to take an opportunistic play and then ended up having uh, the black player get super strong. Today, today we did not let that happen. We, we snuffed it out. We snuffed out the bots. We snuffed out the potentially irritating players. And it is just the best thing in the world to be able to say that I see money Connor whatever you want to call me I'm a grandmaster risk global domination player everybody
That does it. That is the win. We got it in the bag. You should be seeing this game, I believe, on Thursday. If all goes well. This was recorded Tuesday night. Or, I guess, Wednesday, or very early Wednesday morning, in case you're wondering. Immediately after the previous game. Because I just I couldn't let myself be that close and not at least try. And we did it. Let's check out who our opponents were this game. We had uh, the red player as an intermediate and a sling of novice and beginner players in the other positions. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, if you've enjoyed my journey to Grandmaster. I know I haven't uploaded every single game I've played, but we finally reached it, and I can finally call myself a Grandmaster level Risk Global Domination player at the top of the video instead of an experienced one, which is really exciting for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And comment down below what you thought about this. I A very fitting game for reaching that, that point. Always a little bit of frustration in my games. Always a little bit of maybe newbie play or whatever, but uh, a good effort, certainly by the red player. I respected their efforts in this game, and, and it was a good hard-fought battle against them, but I was able to pull it off. Apologies if my moves uh, explanations weren't quite as good this game. I was really focused on just trying to go for the win and, and commentating a little bit along the way. I almost forgot. I forgot to show the rating. There it is. Right, right here. Right here, Grandmaster. Oh, the relief. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you from my video catalog, you can catch that above my head right here. Subscribe button in the upper right hand corner if you need easy access to that. As always, everybody, thank you for watching. I've been C Money. Peace.